Hi everyone. As you can see, I'm still having fun playing with my new webcam. This is called Chalk Effect. Okay, I have a really enjoyable journal to read today. It was recorded at 140, uh, written, written at 1.40 p.m. yesterday, Wednesday, February 10th. The Mayan day was 12 men, or eagle, and it's called Adventuring with Inner Dolphins. Okay, this is interesting. First, I had an experience earlier in the day where I united with the dolphins, the dolphin beings. They are not limited to the waters, you know, any more than we are limited to the bodies we wear. Anyway, it was divine. Too special, really, to try to put words to. So I'll just leave it at that and say we had a merging. I found myself in and as them. Okay, the day moved on, and I was listening to this and that, reading this and that on my computer. Also, I put the Quantum K resonators on the keyboard, and they have a very nice effect. But that's another story. Back to this one. Uh, you can Google Quantum K, and I did a journal when I was down with disability where I introduce the Quantum K concept. It's a beautiful cosmic healing process. Okay, so at some point I paused a recording I was listening to, uh, one of Nassim Haramain's, to absorb something he had said, a thought, a train of thought he was expounding. His stuff is just so deep that you just can't race through it. Um, I find myself pausing it often. Anyway, as I'm going within, actually, I listen from there, but anyway, I discovered the dolphin beings in there. Yeah, inside of me, whatever that is, ho ho. Anyway, delighted to find them there, and I am aware that they are actually a higher life form than we are. I asked them for their help in deepening my understanding. Okay, so don't cart me off to the nut farm just yet, at least. Not until you walk a mile in my moccasins, thank you. We are far less limited beings than about 99% of us believe. Anyway, so I got even more basic with it. Dropping the Haramain consideration, and asking their assistance with vision. How's that? I asked them how they saw me. I asked them to share that with me, to help broaden my own vision of self, for I know that so much hangs and hinges on our vision, especially our self-vision. Anyway, all of this just to say that they told me to get out the keyboard and start typing. So here I am. This is unique in my experience, for sure. But what the heck, right? What's to lose? Some might say, your sanity. But others realize with me that that is long gone, anyway. And furthermore, that I don't want it back. So what the heck? Hello, dolphins! Warm, generous love greetings to you. Hello, Teresa Ann. We are glad to meet and speak with you. Boy, you feel funny inside. You kind of tickle my middle. It's neat. We're raising your vibrations to be more in line with ours, and that is what you feel. Well, as I said earlier this morning, you have my heart, now and always. So enter in and let's share. Let's love. Ah, dear one. We are so glad for that we could cry. But then you wouldn't see that, would you? Us being bodily, at least, in the water element, anyway. Well, it is something 
it is somewhat the same with you yourselves. The energy you emit is not yet visible to you, being of the same nature with the vacuum in which you operate, the field, the quantum matrix. We will help you to see yourself, though. We can do that. Oh, I am so joyful, so happy for that. Thank you, thank you. Not so fast there, little Earth-centered one. Stay with us. Don't get too excited, for that makes your radiations hard to catch. Okay, thank you. Love you. Love is you, actually, but thank you anyway. Ah, yes. Okay. Now, we would first draw your attention within. Yes, to the middle of your chest. That's right. Enter in deeply there. Now, look around. What do you see? Oh, well, I don't see much yet. Should I close my eyes? That would help. Okay. Oh, there is some sort of vortex here with some gently colored or tinted rainbow rays being cast off it somehow in little arcs. Let me look closer. Oh, I see the star tetrahedron here, only it's spinning. It is so strange. The top is spinning to the right clockwise and the bottom to the left. Is that right? Yes, it is. Continue. What else do you see? I seem to see a me, a representation of my physicality standing there, sort of small, in miniature, standing there watching the huge tetrahedral vortex. Am I amazed? By it, this little form of me? I don't know. I know that this is me, this watching me. Wait a minute. I know that this me, this watching me, is amazed how the vortex, the star tetrahedron, so dwarfs that standing me in sheer size. That's pretty amazing. Whoops. It appears that the watching me the little me just got pulled into the spinning vortex. Ooh. I'm slowing down here in my ability to type. I've gone within. I'll continue to write as long as I can, but this is much slower now. Okay. Do guide me here, dear friends. What is occurring? You are seeing yourself as we see you, dear one. We see you as this spinning energy vortex, this beautiful field of light spinning, giving off so much love it is practically palpable all around the earth. It is certainly felt in all the seas. Really? Wow! That's quite an adjustment to make, dear ones. I'm opening to it, though. I asked for your help, and I intend to take it and make good 